Hello, oh, Maniacs, this is the McGinney Maniac here. Welcome to my 143th gameplay of the Pokemon Chart Credit Card Game Online for the PC. This time I want to feature a new deck that I've just made. I featured some of the new cards from the newest set, Shiny Faces, which came out February 19, 2021, which was about three days ago. Actually, four days ago, if my math is right. Yeah, four days ago. It's my Kramer and VMAX deck with Porygon Z. So I'm going to feature story how the deck works. Explain what the deck was about, get it to a game with it, and hopefully get a win with the deck. So, main attack is Kramer and VMAX. This is from New Shining Face. It's got 320 HP. It's a colorist uh, Dynamax Pokemon. It's got a really, uh, for triple color, it's got max share, does 80 damage. You flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 80 damage for each head. So, uh, you have 3, en three energy. You do, you do 240 damage. It knocks out uh, some attacks like Pikachu's Necrom, and also Zation Vs, any uh, uh, Stage 1 Vs or. Tag, some tag teams, but you have 4 energy, you can knock out 320, knocks out pretty much most V-Maxes, uh, 2 shots, some uh, like turns V-Max, we do want to all tag teams in the game, and then we power Porygon Z too, so you have uh, triple colors energy, and then you do that damage. We also play the 4-3 camera V-Max line, so, Kramer V's got 200 HP, it's a colors type basic, for a colors energy, it's got big catch, you shut the deck with 2 cards and put them to your hand, and then shuffle your deck, so, it's good to go if you're going to tag up the deck so you can search out um, two cards that you need. So, you, let's say you have a Porygon in your bench. You have a Kramer active so you can search for the Red Candy Porygon Z. So, you get it out of the deck's turn so you can start attacking as much energy as possible to the Kramer V Max. Also, for a triple color deck, you got Spit Shot. You can score energy with this Pokemon. It does 160 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. So, you don't want to apply weakness or resistance so you, for bench Pokemon. So, you want to shut the Den and GX as well. If, let's say you have any recycled energy, you get, they go back to your hand instead of discarding them so that you can reattach them again. With the uh, Porygon Z's crazy code ability, and then take that knock, key knock snack out. They play a uh, one Kangas can, it's got 130 HP, it's a uh, color type basic. Rally back, does 30 damage for double color energy. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out by damage or attack from the last, the Pokemon the last, the last turn, does 90 more damage, so you do up to 120. So you do play powerful colorless energy, you do up to 140, which knocks out the Decidueye. This is a counter for Decidueye. So if we play against Decidueye, this is for a counter. And the hammer for triple colors does 100 damage. So if you have two powerful colors energy attached to you, you're going to do it with one point, which one shot the Decidueye. So this is why we play players. This is a counter to the Decidueye. And as you, you can weaken V-Max and then they get the one shot with Kramer and V-Max. We play 3 1 the 3 1 3 line of Porygon Z. It's got 130 HP to stage 2 colorless type. It's really called Crazy Souls. Obviously, like, like during your turn, before you attack, you manage to attack a special energy card from one hand to one of your Pokemon. So attach a recycled energy to a cellular energy and a powerful colors energy to Porygon Z. So we get Kramer and v max attacking right away with the max jet. And then through all that energy, you got Trident with 120, it's kind of confused. So this could be another counter to the switch just because you do play against it. You could two shot the switch with doing one, or one shot if you have a powerful card with 140. And then uh, two shot if you don't have it that way. Then play one Elder Ghost with a heavy match ability, it's got 180 HP, it's a grass type basic. Um, let me go my other just a little bit here. It's got 180 HP, it's a grass type basic. It's got a really cool happy match. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you do your turn, you may pull a supporter card from this card power to your hand. So you can search that professor's research that you need, if you have a draw supporter, or you can search for boss's orders if you want to get the last knockout and take the win that way. And then for floor for double colors, energy has got 50 damage. You make sure with this Pokemon all attached cards into your deck. You can use it to weaken two uh, V maxes, or also you can get it back to your deck so you can use the ability once again and draw it out. Then for the round of the Pokemon, play one Mew with the Bench Barrier ability. It's got 60 HP to the type color or basic. You play all damage done to your Bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. So, so that's all the Kramer V Spit Shots. Um, they got a GX's Venom Shot. Pikachu's Drew's Zach Rose Tag for GX. So, so that's just a Pokemon for him to bench. Take him, they're taking multiple prizes. And that's like how you put for color energy, you put three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon any way you like. So you can weaken V-Masters with that too. Now the trainers, items, and supporters and stadiums. Play uh, one ordinary rod to shuffle two Pokemon back to set. We catch up with two basic energy cards. We don't play any basic energy. We're gonna play uh, uh, special energy. So you shuffle uh, Pokemon, Pokemon back where you, where you do, do need. Then play two Pokemon three Pokemon three point oh with the top seven. Find a supporter, put it to your hand. Good way to get a supporter out. Just in case you don't have one, hopefully you do get a supporter. If not, you're out of luck pretty much. But there's a way to get supporters out. Then play two Pokemon communication. You search for Pokemon we don't need, get one we do need. So set up board that way. For a quick ball, it's going to come uh, for your head, search out uh, basic, put it to your uh, hand, so you search out Cramorant, Porygon, Elder Ghost of Mew, oh, Kangas Can as well. Three Red Candy, so you skip Porygon into the Porygon Z right away, instead of going to the Porygon 2 stage. You just want your basic Pokemon to play, you have a stage 2, you put it to your, on top and put it to your hand. You put it to the Pokemon, so. You can't use it the same time you do with Play, unfortunately, but that's okay. 
There's my fourth switch. You can activate one of your bench because uh, I think four guys is two retreat. And we can do get paralyzed because it's uh, switched out as a retreat, so we don't have to uh, stall out with that. Then play the state of choice. Three gloom blue tang. You flip a coin. Once they each other to play this turn, after the player flips a coin, had an attack. They may over the over results for that coin flip and begin flipping those coins again. So this is good to uh, if we have. Um, if you don't get a knockout with the Kramer at VMAX, we can reset that coin flip and try to get a knockout again, so... So we don't like the coin flip, we can just try again and hopefully get the knockout this time. Then the support is play two Bird Keeper, you switch out after one bench, draw three. Just in case we get paralyzed, just to get something that's trapped in the active spot, and then you can switch back out to like... Uh, play a switch out, and then you switch out my back, and then you keep attacking again. They play two bosses, or this is the new art from Shining Face, but it did come first in the Venusaur vs. Blastoise Blattle decks. Uh, v battle attacks. So you switch on your opponent's bench with the active, get that key knockout that you need. Or if you need to start, bring someone that's high retreat, and then set up your board that way. Then we play two Erica's House Vitality, draw two cards for each opponent's part one to play, but you need four, that's the cards in order to play this card. This is very good in the um, Eternus V Max decks because you can draw up to nine cards in play. Because if, if they fill up the whole board, so you draw up to nine cards. With that card, so it's a very good card right here. Then we play two Marnie. So we shuffle hand, draw five. We draw five, they draw four, put it on the bottom of the deck. So if they have a big hand, we can limit the hand if they have a big hand. They have four cards in hand instead of a huge hand. Then we play four Professor's Future. This is a new one from Shiny Face 2. Professor Juniper brings back many memories because when I first started pl playing in the game, Professor Juniper was our main draw support. I did the same game, the Scarlet Hand draw seven. So it's best to draw support in the game. Then we play the Energy Count, four Triple Acceleration Energy. It counts as three energy when attached to a ball Pokemon. So Cram and VMAX can start using Max, Moon, Max Jet turn one. Then we play four powerful colors energy. If you attach it to a colorless Pokemon, it gives it 20 more damage. Gives that boost for Cram as max max strategy increases by 20. And then forward cycle energy. So if it, it gets this card to play, you put it to your uh this hand into the scar file so you can reattach them again with poor guns. Disease. So let's do that guys. Let me just do a quick edit real quick. Then you guys are sticking around with the deck. Let's get to a game. I do the uh, cut the cut how I was something like this for common ones. So let me just cut that off real quick. My common ones are right here, I believe. Yes. I like to play everything in the cheapest form, so. I don't want to go blinged out and stuff like that. Let's get to the game. Hopefully, I did play a couple of games there. I did like it. I got. I did beat. A, uh, I beat a Charles deck, but I lost to I think a Colos I lost to um. Uh, Cinderace Remax deck. So I didn't get that key knock on it. Anyway, let's go for a game for them, yeah, guys. I also did play a couple of games. Play games in my Players Cup. I did recently just won five, got five points after winning a Players Cup tournament with Whimsicott. Play so against Wacky Maddie. We got a bit of deck. But let's see where he's going to corner flip. If you go second, that's great. I like to go second. If you go big catch, we lost the corner. Let's see if we're gonna go. We're gonna go first or second. I'm not going first or second. Doesn't really matter to me. But second is the better option because you want to get that turn one big catch. Okay, so we're all going second, which is good. Let's see what we have here. We got a Porygon. Fortunately, we don't have an energy yet, but that's okay because we can go for that big catch next turn. Search for that Porygon Z and the Cramer V Max Power. That's what we're trying to go for here. We have to play against the metal. Let's play Arceus Diago Diago Palkiazation. That's what we're playing against. One of the best, uh, the best deck in the format, I must say. I think. We're gonna see energy switch and a metal energy and a spell. My head's looking pretty decent though. It's, it's not the worst hand, but we can do that. All we have to find energy. We can attack with a uh, beat catch switch for our two Pokemon. The drop is Pokemon is active. Does it have any bench Pokemon? I might have had a draw support we have. We have to draw every custom It was good later in the game. It's not good early on because you don't want to draw for only one card. But we do get it. We, we do get the way we can just start trying to support it as well if we need to. Alright, so we can see. Alright. I guess we must have signed out or something. We're going to play another game. That game was too fast. So it's like it was an Arcus Pateria Arca Palkia with Zation. So that's the deck right there. Let's go to another game. That game was too fast. Let's play another game. So I didn't get to showcase the whole deck yet. So that was pretty fast. I thought, I guess you must have either disconnected or you must have had a bad hand. And you didn't want to play. So we're going to be playing against Zubat L, playing a fighting deck, which is good because we're very resistant to fighting. This could be Colossal V Max. So we're going to call a we're going to call heads. And you're going to win the coin play, so we're going to choose to go first. So we can start off with Boiler. Let's see our hand. Oh, uh, it's not that bad. We got the Cramorant. We did. Oh, let's get a Porygon down so we can start attacking next turn. But we do get a Cramorant here, so we can go all to turn two, get a uh, turn two Max Jet off. So, oh, this is Extra Drew actually. I think this is a good matchup for us because they kept, they have to really three shot us. 
We'll draw three cards. Let's get a Porygon down. No Porygon, yeah, but that's okay. Just got a Mew down. I'm gonna, not gonna bench them. So we can't get knocked out to him. So we're gonna just attach the energy and pass. Yeah, I definitely want to research this hand away. I might have to, though. Let's see what I want to put. He started with a Machino in the So he's trying to YouTube more to the Machino, get the free retreat. And he's going to Morneus, which is, I'm okay with. I didn't want to discard all of this. But I'll like, we'll hopefully draw a supporter here. I'll try to also beat Cash, which is not a bad idea, too. So we're cramming. Alright, we got a Poison too, just putting it out. I would like to get a B Max. There's a Dribble coming down. So we're going to promote the Dribble and probably pass, okay? So draw the Tango next. We're gonna drop the Kermit, drop the Porygon, play the Tango, and then research. So do we get a Kermit V Max? We do not. But we do get another Porygon. I can beat Catch too next time, actually, which I'm going to. So we're gonna beat Catch for the Red Candy and the Porygon Z for next turn. Let's beat Catch for the Porygon. Oh, we got two Porygon Z points. That's not good. And then we were can get the Red Candy too. Just in case he just. So we can set up next turn. Why don't we go for a Spit Shot as well? We do this just in case. We can also murder, we can also bird keeper. It depends on the hand here. So you do a quick ball, it's going to a hat pool. Why should we play it? Probably get another drill button to play, yes. There's another drill bar. There's another money. Okay, I had a feeling like our money would come. That's okay. Let's see our, let's see our hand. Okay, so we got a quick ball, so we can quick ball for the elder ones to get back and to get back and research. So we got Fion. We'll promote the other player if he does, does Fion us. So he's, uh, tries to catch his energy, it's going to drop the Fion quick spot, probably for the Den GX, maybe? Or maybe a Crobat, even. So you can just, uh, just uh, draw six cards, with re replenish his hand. So he's going to hit us for 130, I believe. Yeah, 130. Oh, no, there was actually 100. So actually, all the card rejects very interesting. I guess it's the Den and his Oracle, and Koro must have been priced. So we're going to see if we're going to see a so we're gonna, It just causes two top four cards in his deck, and he's going to do 100 damage. I just gotta be maxing to play this turn, possibly. Hopefully, I do have other weapons. It's gonna work for I'll just send out the other Cramorant. Because the other thing is, you can just knock this, any, knock one of these out. So I'm not gonna take, have him give, give him a free prize. So we're gonna for 90 damage. Okay, moves four. Let's see what we draw. We draw a powerful colors. I'm gonna retire to a psych. I wanna keep the power. I'm gonna discard the powerful colors anyway. So, what is the quick ball? I see the Elder Ghost is in deck. It is. Nice. So we're going to Elder Gods for the research we just used earlier, and we're going to play it. We lose, we lose two energy, but that's okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got the Red Caddy Porygon, but unfortunately we don't have enough energy to use the Max Jet just yet. So I'm going to swap these two, and I'm going to beat Catch again. I think. Actually, no. Wait, no. I did Spit Shots, actually, this. So I'm going to do this with Tree. And I can just reattach the energy with Porygon Z, and I'm gonna use spit, I'm gonna spit the spot the spit shot the axis. We're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the axis. We take a prize. We discard two uh, two energy. We discard two energy. We decide what we'll come back to our hand. Let's see what the prize is. It's a bird keeper. That's a good support supporter. So I definitely don't want a Marnie. We know we know he has all the card rejection in his hand, so he's gonna use that ability to have him draw three cards. So if you take if your gets one of your gets knocked out, you draw three cards with all the card rejection and dance tribute ability. See what he does. So see Cormac communication, put it back to Machino back. It's probably gonna start off a Chinchino, draw two cards which means make durability. That's not right. Well the Chinchino is gonna make use the make durability probably to draw two cards. Yeah, so this got a card to draw two. It's like Trace and Zoro GX back in um Shining Legends actually. This got the box with the draw two. He's not three mines, he's not gonna morning us for sure. And I don't want if he keeps his head, I don't want to morning here. So he's gonna attach an energy to the Manchina to play the Monster Arts. He's gonna hit us by 80 damage with the energy assist because he's down in prizes. We're gonna burst keep it for shots. I actually don't want a morning. So I wanna give him more cards. So we draw a little tag, which I'm gonna play now. So a bird keeper. We have a switch ahead, so we can attach to anything. We do have a card, but unfortunately no energy just yet. So I'm gonna switch to this crab. I'm gonna beat catch again, I think. It will be catch. We're gonna search for uh, the other was psycho or maybe the triple colors. Cause we do have a supporter in hand for next time. 
I'm okay with this. Let's see. 40 bucks. He's gonna make do again discarding the quick ball. Interesting. He, he's a dead end combo master. He comes with another dribble out coming down. Probably gonna another energy assist. Oh, I'm gonna say a research. Let's go ahead and draw seven. Getting extra drills in play. Patches gonna fight into the uh, dribble on his bench. We're gonna see another energy assist. Looks like ordinary rod. Putting the dribble on the back to his deck. Probably the fighting energy too. Yeah, he has any fighting energy. He should have one. He used one earlier. Probably see another energy assist to probably weaken my guy up. A uh, Fion. Uh, I don't want to feel into. Who do I want to feel into? I'll probably want to feel into the other crab Yeah. So I, I just throw a tackle with a max jet next turn. So it's, you know, it's, it's a 40. I got energy to the Oracoro this time. Interesting. So we draw, we draw another crab rat max. I'm going to want both of them too. Uh, we're gonna attach, uh, I wanna attack with the weaker one, so I'm gonna attach manually to here. I have to attach both because there's two of each other, there's only one. Done, we're here, done. We'll retreat manually. I don't wanna attack with the weaker one because the weaker one could be actually, the strong one is actually really one shot. So we're gonna crazy call today active. I wanna give my shot a fair shot, so I'm gonna attach all the energy to here. I'm gonna go for the research. So we got it. Um, not bad. I don't know the Porygon Z, so I have to hold on to my hand the way it is. I'm just gonna go for the max jet here. So I only need two heads. I get the two heads, so that's a knockout. We don't, we're choosing not to work flip. We got four heads. I don't want to knock out the over coil next turn. Here's on the prize. It's one of the Porygon Z's, very nice, which we do need. So you're gonna promote the over coil. It was also a little, okay, that's how it could be a powerful color. Not really, we do have Kanga scan. We can one shot with the powerful color. So you're gonna attach a YouTube board to the Oracle, drop the machine, not drop a Swap Lou. So draw three with Dance and Tribute. Great Ball, looking for an Escadrill. Does he find an extra draw on the top of seven cards? He does, okay. Good as we can I get one shot of here, which is good. Uh. The dribble coming down. Time to do an to it. From the extra dribble, it's probably gonna see an 11, uh, not 11, dribble bazooka for the 120, uh, 90 actually. He doesn't have a dull drill in play. Okay, so this card draws four. Uh, I'm gonna bust order the order card knock out this time, so you can't draw any cards. We're gonna attack the triple manually. We're also the boy on Z. And we're gonna go for the match here. We need two, three heads. Okay, no, not there yet. Yep, yeah, we're there exactly. No, we don't like to reflip because we got exactly the heads, number of heads that we needed. So we take two prizes, another Porygon Z, a third one, and a powerful color. Very nice. I don't want to try to get another Crown Man set up here for sure. Because he has to knock us with the 11th hour tackle. He can't knock us out with the. with another Freon. Um. I'm gonna promote. The Elder Boss, actually. So I can retreat manually with the. I could just attach an energy and never tweet it. So this one will draw two parts. I can just boss that, too. Let's see what our opponent does here. He has no, he has no Chinchino in play. He's got an ordinary rod. Probably, probably the Oracle back into his deck. So he can use the Dancing True to draw three cards. So as we draw all the coil going back to the deck. And double fighting going back. So you some more going to the and passing, okay? So another Porygon Z. A uh, Porygon actually. So I'm going to attach manually. I don't have to really do nothing else really. I don't want I don't have to discard my hand. So I'm gonna go for the max shot. We need one head. And we got the one hand easily. Actually we swept the hell with three heads, so that's a knockout. We should have the game in the key next turn. Take our next prize. There's another Cramorant V very nice. I could just even snipe anything on the bench if I want to. 
If we pull off the tower, I'm just gonna have. I have, I have to look for the boss. Yeah, we're gonna, he's gonna hit those little well played. So basically, pretty much has nothing. Yep, so that's a good test of you guys. So you see how the deck works. You guys are supposed to just get out and then hopefully get those key necklaces that you need. Thank you guys for watching over this video. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked the video, hit a thumbs up. Climb over to like this. And hit that notification bell so you don't see all the videos. Hit some more videos, man. Bye for now.